Hey, I just want to share a couple of things about fall arrangements. And um, I have what I call a little black dress arrangement for fall going on here. Um, it has all the Julie colors, rich and bold. And um, there's some free spirit roses, some little mini uh, kale in here, some eucalyptus, some beautiful millet that's real thick and heavy. Um, some little spray roses. So just generic sort of, sort of, uh, stems in here but I wanted to add the jewels and those would be the things that come from the garden or wherever you can snip and we did a, a, a wedding last week with some cotton and so I'm gonna add some of the cotton uh, bracts in here what I'm gonna do is take the cotton bowls out and that shows you these pretty little iridescent um, bracts that hold the cotton bowls. I rode on a cotton picker last year, so I know all about cotton. But what happens with cotton, and that was one of the things I learned, is that they, they spray a defoliant on the cotton plants when they're in the ground, and it makes the, um, the leaves die, and they just sort of exfoliate, and then it makes it easier for the cotton picker to come and do its thing. Uh, another thing that I'm adding to this arrangement is the dogwood from my yard. It's pretty and red right now, and it actually has all of the colors that are in this arrangement, but it makes it uh, just a little bit more comfortable and not so little black dressy. So it makes this ar arrangement just a little more casual and, uh, and a garden-inspired look. So... Um, if you, if you still want it to look dressy and not too wild and loose, uh, which is what we want in this case for this party, uh, we want to put together our little black dress and then just add a few little accessories like the dogwood and the cotton bracts. So that's my lesson for the day. Have a great day and I will see you tomorrow on Instagram with the delivery from North Carolina to me, and it has to do with our kitchen. See ya!